Hey, this is Ryan Bowman with Web Eminence. Thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna do a review on Yola websites. It's a popular website builder. A lot of people use it to create a website themselves. So maybe you're looking into it and hopefully this video will help you get an idea of if it's a good fit for you and you can see how easy it is to create websites with the Yola website builder. So let's get right into it. I created a free account with Yola.com. So you can see after you log in, here's my dashboard here. It looks like they allow you to create two sites with a free account. I've created one titled Web Eminence. Uh, they give you a free subdomain and mine is webeminencellc.yolasite.com. And before we get into the website editor, I'm gonna show you a few things that are here on the dashboard. First of all, they offer some site traffic information. And there's not a lot of traffic on my site because I'm just building it as an example. But they give you some basic information, basic traffic information for your website. Under the domains tab is where you can manage your domain names. You can actually purchase a domain name from Yola or you could purchase one from another registrar like GoDaddy, which I would recommend and you can link it to your Yola website. They also have email service for about $10 a year. They have the ability to create an online store for you and we'll get into the pricing later. There's a, a few different levels. There's a free plan and then there's Yola bronze, silver, and gold. So you can read my blog post associated with this video to get some more updated information about their current pricing. So from the dashboard, I'm gonna click the edit website button and that's gonna load the site builder where you actually manage and edit your website. Overall, this is a really nice looking website builder and it works very well. It's very intuitive and user friendly even for the beginner. It looks a lot like the Weebly website builder which is another popular website builder that I've done a review on. Um, but it, the way it works is you have your tools and widgets up here and you can actually drag these onto your website and place them wherever you want on your website and then you can click different elements to edit. For example, editing text, editing pictures, and then you can actually grab these elements and also drag them around your page. So that's the basics of how it works, but we'll get into it in a little bit more detail so you can see the different features and elements that you can add to a page and how you would change them. So let's first look at these tabs on the top. The first one is site, and you'll find a lot of general properties for your site in these tabs. Here's some information on publishing the site. You can actually create a mobile website in some of their upgraded accounts. Under content, you can actually edit the site CSS, which is a way to edit the design and appearance. This is for people who know how to edit CSS code, and that's available also in the upgraded accounts. Here's where you manage your pages and navigation. So your main navigation on your site can be rearranged by dragging these pages. You can change the names of them, and you can add pages here. And actually with a free account, you're limited to only three pages, which may work for some people, but a lot of people will need more than three pages. So you'll want to at least upgrade to their, their first level, which is bronze. So I have three pages, home, website hosting, and contact us. So if I close out of that, you'll see those three pages in my main navigation. The next tab at the top is the page tab and under page properties the first item is style designer and this is a pretty important feature because it allows you to change the look of each page individually. In the style designer you can change the overall look of your website. You can individually change different elements of the website like the background color images, the main header color and colors for different headings and paragraph text. An easy way to change the overall look quickly is to choose from some of their presets. So if you click on one of these presets, you'll kind of see how the color of the page changes. And then you could edit them however you want using these options down below. You can also change from font presets 
and you'll see how all the fonts change on my website. So it's real easy to give your site a custom look using their presets and then customizing it to your needs using the style designer. And I'll show you some of the other items in the page properties tab under the page tab. There's heading which is just the main heading of your website which mine is web eminence. You could change the banner, you can change the background, metadata is for search engine optimization. And navigation I already showed you is where you manage the pages. The next section is layout and that allows you to choose different layouts for the page, different numbers of columns and rows as you can see in these graphics. So if you click on one of these it'll change the layout of that page on your site. And you can give each page a different layout. The next tab we're going to look at is the style tab because this is where you choose the overall theme for your website. Yola has a number of themes and with a free account you're limited to the themes in the free section. But you can kind of see as I scroll through here there's a number of themes so you should be able to find one that you like. But in the free section they're probably going to be fairly basic. And if you get into an upgraded account you'll have access to these premium themes which there's a lot more of them and they're probably going to be a little bit more professional looking so for those of you who are interested in, in getting a nicer looking website you probably are going to want to upgrade your Yola account. So you can click on some of these themes and your site will automatically change to that theme but you'll see that since these are premium themes it's not going to allow me to actually publish them without upgrading my account. But you can view them before you upgrade your account just to see which theme you'd like to use for your website. And you can switch between these themes at any time after publishing your site and you'll just republish your site with the new theme. And the next tab we're going to look at is the widgets tab. This is where you're going to spend most of your time creating your website by dragging these widgets to your pages to add elements to your website. So before we start adding elements, let's just take a look at this home page that I've already spent some time on and just go through some of the elements that are already on the page. At the top we have the navigation, which we already talked about. Here's the heading, which you can click on and edit. Any of these elements, you can really double click on them and edit them. So this is the banner image. So I'm going to go ahead and add my logo as the banner image. So for people who have an upgraded account, Yola gives you access to a number of images that you can use on your website. And anyone can purchase stock images from Fotolia by purchasing credits and it comes to about a dollar per image. You can also upload your own files which I'm going to do here. Let me just find my logo and it'll upload your file. And now the file is uploaded so I'm going to select it. And it's not showing the image so we'll see if it works but I'm going to drag it to a larger size. And click save. That was giving me a little trouble there. I'm going to go ahead and click save. Let's see if it works. I'm going to click on this banner image to show you how I would change that. I'm going to click here to upload a file and double click on that image. It's going to upload the file. And it's giving me some it's giving me a few errors in uploading the files, but I got this one to upload. And you can drag it to fill that space however you want. So I'm just gonna put it like that and click save. Let's see if that works. Uh, 
Okay, got it working. That wasn't super easy. I got some errors and it didn't work the first few times. So I don't know if that's a problem a lot of people are gonna have or not, but I had that problem. So chances are other people are gonna have that issue too. And so let's continue looking down the page. Here I have a text element. So any text elements, you can select text like you would in any um, word processor and you can use these buttons up here to change um, some of the features of the text like italics, underline, you can add links, you can even insert images into text blocks and change the alignment. So you can click on an image and drag this handle to easily resize it. You can also click on margin which is a great way to add margins to an image so it's real easy to just drag the slider and, and you'll see the image has margins added to it or you could change these margins individually if you wanted for example a top margin or a bottom margin to be larger than the others. Over here is another text box and here I added a link using this button. You can insert links to other pages on your site or an external link so here you could type your website address which is what I did. You can also link to an email address or a file stored on the site. This is just a horizontal line. That's from this widget here. You see if you drag this down, you can edit what the line looks like, give it a color, change the thickness, and click Save. So there I have another line. If you wanted to delete any element, you can actually just press the X on the element and that'll delete the widget. This is a gallery that was already on the page. So let's see if I can change these images very easily. I'm gonna double click on it, say upload new images, and let's see if it allows me to add these three images. Okay, that seems like it worked. We'll see if it works when we uh, publish the website live. Here's another text element that I'm actually going to remove by clicking the X. This is a social element that was already on the page. If I double click it, I can change the look of it. These are just social buttons. Down here is a custom panel that I created using the custom panel widget. So I drag the custom panel down to the page and created this green box. So I'll double click on it and show you how you can change it. This is a pretty cool feature that allows you to give some nice visual elements to different boxes on your page. So you can easily change the color by clicking around. I can change the background color and give it a gradient with a few colors. You can change the direction of the gradient. You can upload an image. I can easily give it a border and change the color and the width. You can change the corners to make them more rounded. There's a lot of options for giving the box a shadow. There's a lot of options here for giving the box a shadow. So if I drag some of these, you can see the shadow start to appear behind the box. You can change the padding and margins around. Padding would be the margin inside the box and margin would be outside the box. You can also change the fonts and click save. So now you can kind of see my new custom panel. It's just a stylized box with some text in it. So that's kind of a cool feature that I don't see on too many website builders. It's going to allow you to easily add some different visual elements to your page very easily. So those are some of the elements on this page. I'm gonna go ahead to another page to show you how to add some elements. So you can actually click on the navigation here. And I'll go to the website hosting page. It's gonna ask me if I wanna save my changes, so I'll click yes. And it's gonna open the new page, which only has a picture on it. And it also has a column divider, which is created using this widget. And this is a way to create columns on your page and you can easily drag them to change the width of the columns. I haven't found a way to add 
multiple columns. They don't allow me to edit this, so it seems like you're limited to two columns uh, with this widget. So let's go ahead and add some other elements to this page. I've already showed you some text elements on my home page, so you would just drag text to the page to edit the text. You can easily add a picture to the page. We've already showed you that. I've already showed you picture gallery, column divider. HTML code widget is if you wanted to add some code to your page. So let's say I wanted to add a Twitter widget to the page using the HTML code that's given to me in my Twitter account. I would actually drag this HTML code widget to the page and they're just going to give me a blank HTML code page to paste in my text. So I've already copied the HTML code from my Twitter account, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in and click Save. And you should see my tweets show up when we publish the page here. The next thing you can add is a Google Map, so I'll just drag that down here. And it's probably gonna ask you for a location. Let's just leave it on San Francisco, hit Save. You can also add a YouTube video, so let's add that on the left side. You can search for videos or add one manually. I'm gonna go ahead and add a video manually using the video URL. So I copied my URL, I'm gonna paste it in here and click add video URL. You can change the alignment, edit the margins, I'm gonna click save. So there it put in my YouTube video. You can also add forms to the page. I'll show you how that works. Actually, let's go to the contact page for that. There's already a form on the contact page, but let's just drag another one, show you how easy it is to create a form. You can create a basic contact form or you can start with a blank template to create your own form. The contact us is just going to create a basic form with name, email, phone, message, and a capture code. And you can double click on this to edit the email address under settings where, your, um, where the form will be emailed once it's submitted. So let's go ahead and delete that one. We don't need two of them. So those are all the widgets under the popular category. There's an online store widget that allows you to sell products with an upgraded account. I'm not gonna get too much into that, but you'll probably just sell products through a PayPal account. Um, you can do just some basic sales online. I wouldn't recommend Yola for selling lots of products, but it could be used for selling just a few products. Under the media tab, you may find some other widgets like a Flickr gallery, you can add a flash object, Tumblr blog, or upload a file. You can also add an MP3 player to play an audio file. And then under e-commerce, you'll find some other options like Google AdSense, a PayPal product. And under more, it looks like there's some social icons you can add, and some more forms like WooFoo forms appointment book and mailing list which is connected to constant contact if you have a constant contact account and a few other things under miscellaneous so that pretty much covers all the widgets you can use to create your site let's go ahead and publish and save my site so I can show it to you live and we'll see the changes that we just made it took about 10 seconds to publish the site I'm gonna go ahead and open this link in a new tab so here you can view the site live. This is the home page. Let's see if the gallery worked that we created. Yeah, it seemed to work pretty well. It opens in a little light box pop-up window and you can easily click previous and next to create a gallery. Here's the custom panel I created. One aspect of a free website is it's always gonna have this banner here at the bottom. So if you want to get rid of that, you're going to have to upgrade your account from a free website to a paid website. I click on website hosting, we'll see some of the elements I added to that page with the live Google map. Here's my YouTube video. Hey, this is Ryan from webeminence.com. Thanks for watching. And here's the tweets. 
using the HTML code from Twitter. And then we'll go to the Contact Us page, and you should see another map and a contact form. So that's how easy it is to create a site with Yola websites. You can see probably within an hour you can have a site online that looks pretty good and you can customize it to the look that you want very easily. So overall I really like the Yola website builder. I've reviewed many website builders and this is probably one of my favorites so far. Uh, on my blog post I'll talk a little bit about pricing and how it compares to some other website builders to really give you an idea if, whether or not it's a good value. But I could, I could confidently say after using this for a few hours that anybody with basic computer skills could, could build a nice website. And with their upgrades, you can really make your website look professional with some of their upgraded themes. And if you have any questions about creating your Yola site, let me know. I'd be happy to help if you're having any trouble. Thanks for watching the video, and we'll see you around. Bye.